Good evening. Welcome to St. Paul's and kind of a retired concert series that we had calling uh, Performance at St. Paul's. So we're glad to have this uh, reunion of sorts with the Miamians. They've been here before and we had a great audience and I know some of you were here four years ago. We tried to get them two years ago and there was a storm and it canceled them. They couldn't get any place in the inns down here. But the, there, there is so much great music making in Key West. We know that you don't have to go very far up and down Duval Street to know that it's not there. You know, there's the Keys Chorus, the Keys Choral Arts. There are churches that have beautiful music programs. You're probably in one right now. Uh, but I want to give you a warning. You may have heard it already. And we're blaming this one on Mr. Fleming because it doesn't make sense. We have one water line for all four buildings here. They all work except the tower. So we're blaming it on Mr. Fleming. So here is the scoop. We have opened up the restroom that's on the porch of the, his, of the parish hall. So go up six steps and then it's an outside bathroom on the porch. Make sure when you leave that the handle, outside handle is unlocked. And that's where your bathroom is. There will be an intermission, so you may want to do that. Um, but with any, no more ado, let's welcome the Miamians.
Alex Rubin, I'm the musical director of the Miamians, and we are thrilled to be here with you this evening, and we're even more thrilled that you're here with us. Otherwise, it'd be a little awkward. Um, so, um, and uh, we're just thrilled to be here at St. Paul's Episcopal Church. Uh, this is the second time that the Miamians have had the opportunity to come down and share our music in Key West, and um, we, we have members that go all the way, well, uh, on this specific uh, chorus with this group, we have uh, a member from St. Augustine who's down with us um, and a member from Sebring in the middle of the state. Uh, and then most of us are from West Palm, the, the Palm Beach area or Broward and Miami. <laughs> okay, sorry. He flew down from Philadelphia just to be here with you. He's moving at the end of November permanently to South Florida, so I already put you in the South Floridian bunch. But, uh, but we are thrilled, uh, obviously, barbershop music is a uh, truly American art form, and it's just our pleasure to be able to share what we do. We rehearse year-round, um, and we love to share our music wherever we go. We'll be up in, uh, in the St. Augustine area in a statewide competition um, in uh, two weeks, I think, right? Two weeks. So um, uh, these next sets of these next three songs, we've actually got one that we're adding in. It was uh, we can either we can look at this two ways. Either I missed it from the program, probably the truth, or it was requested as we walked all over the streets of Key West <laughs> earlier today. I'm going with B over over A, but uh, but we've got a any uh, old blue eyes? No, no, it wasn't that one. It wasn't. <laughs> no. Good. Um, I love these guys. Um, any old Blue Eyes fans? Frank Sinatra fans? Yep, so this next one's a Frank Sinatra fan. And then maybe, uh, and then we've got a Beach Boys song. And then this most requested or my forgotten song. Uh, so one or the other. Here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> Sure, I know this too. 
requested song. <laughs> not our last. Don't worry, we're not done that quickly. Here we go. Oh, 
this, uh, this next song um, uh, is a, a, a song that we recorded, obviously, as a choral organization. The, uh, the biggest impact we've had, this, this happens to be, I, I should have mentioned it earlier, this is the 75th anniversary of the Miamians in the South Florida community. We started in 1948. Absolutely. Who was... No, no one was there. I was there. Uh, <laughs> no. I have first hand... You don't believe me? Um, first hand knowledge. Uh, and the, the, the Miamians, uh, as a chorus, um, un, uh, sadly not with anybody that's here, we do have one member um, who's, who's with us who's, uh, whose mother is actually buried behind the church in the, in the cemetery here. So it's an interesting connection to, to Key West. Um, who, who's still with the chorus. Um, and in 1965, the Miamians won the world championship of, of the Barbershop Harmony Society. And that championship, those championships, those contests still happen every July 4th week, somewhere uh, across the uh, North America. And, uh, but we're, we're pleased to continue on the tradition that was started 75 years ago. And, um, and one of the mainstays of the chorus um, for, directed the chorus for nearly 40 of those 75 years was a man named Gene Cocroft. And, um, and that's probably not a name if you're a barbershop or somebody who, who's been around the barbershop circle, the, the last name will ring a bell. His quartet, though, uh, in 1961 won the international championship of the quartet contest, and they were called the Sun Tones. Um, and for those of you probably not old enough to remember the Jackie Gleason show, there was a court, oh, okay, we've got one, <laughs> two, three, four, five, yay, sold, bingo! Um, so there was a quartet that would be on the Jackie Gleason show fairly regularly. That quartet was the Sun Tones. When Jackie moved the show to, to Miami Beach, the quartet that was the 1961, the international champions, uh, the Sun Tones. And that man, Gene Cocroft, the tenor of that quartet, spent just years of his life dedicated to the Miamians, to the barbershop harmony and the style, to perpetuating uh, this style across generations to come. And um, he, he devoted the last uh, 25 years of his life to ensuring that barbershop was going to live on for many decades to come by investing in, uh, in the youth of South Florida, running youth programs, connecting with the high schools. And this, uh, this song was arranged by him and it, we, uh, we, we had the opportunity during COVID, to, during the COVID lockdown time to record this as a virtual project. It's available on YouTube, but it's a really neat song and we think it means just as much today as it did when Louis Armstrong first recorded it.
You know, I, I, I think the, the, uh, the fun part about that song, those two songs together, the uh, wonderful world we did our, our virtual project um, on, but that song, these guys learned entirely via, via Zoom. Learned the whole piece, um, which uh, I, I don't know how many, how many sing in a choir? Anybody? Yeah. So have you tried Zoom for choir rehearsals? Yes. It's, it's not fun, but... Uh, but we took the opportunity to make the best of it and rehearse twice a month the entire time um, and they managed to learn a song which um, as a musical director I've directed the chorus um, the this chorus for now for uh, uh, 10 12 years I think I'm getting old so I, I can't remember those things uh, but it's 12 years with this ensemble we merged the choruses in Broward County and Miami-Dade County uh, 12 years ago, and I've been a chorus director of the, I was the chorus director of the, the Broward-based chorus uh, for 10 years before that, so, um, and I know you're thinking that he's 19, how could he have directed that entire time? <laughs> I appreciate the, uh, uh, I appreciate that. So we have, um, we have an awesome uh, piece coming up, so obviously this is barbershop quartet music, and you see a chorus and you say, yay, a chorus, but... But what's it sound like when it's a quartet, when it's four voices, the uniqueness of what happens when you get four voices all singing a different part, I hope, 
right? Yes, all singing a different part. Um, but this group was, uh, was formed in 2005 and has been entertaining audiences all over South Florida ever since. And they, they literally, I think they have the record now for most performances across South Florida of any quartet. And I've, I've sung in quartets and traveled all over the United States, but I don't get to have the joys of singing as often as these guys do. And so we are thrilled as a chorus to have them as part of the Miamians, but also to be able to share them with you uh, this evening. And so without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, good blend. Hello, hello, we want to let you know You're always welcome, welcome here We're very glad to see you We hope you're glad we came So church and we're very happy, very honored to be able to do this for you guys. Uh, at this moment, uh, I would like to introduce ourselves. Oh, what was your name again? I bet you're out in the park. <laughs> 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 oh, this okay, in a more serious way. Here on my right I have uh, Rich Haney and he is the tenor. <laughs> Next to him, the tallest one is Tom Ball and he sings the bass. Steve Friedland, who sings the baritone. <laughs> my, my name is Roberto Mason, and I sing the lead, which is the melody. <laughs> Our next song, it was, it was uh, written by Billy Joel, and uh, he wrote the four parts. And the situation is that he is not able to sing on, on a show that song because he is the one who summed the four parts, put them together in the mix, and the, 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 the song came out. So, eat your heart out, oh, Billy Joe. We're going to sing it now. <laughs> Uh, I'm so inspired by you, that has it 
song was written way back in, and recorded way back in 1984, but people didn't really take notice of it all that much. But a lot of singers, a lot of everyone that we know has sung this song. The uh, author and the original recording artist is Leonard Cohen, and you should know by now. Um, it was made popular in that Shrek movie. So um, here is Hallelujah by Leonard Cohen. a striptease. We are actually in a church, so no, it's not a striptease. We're getting ready for our 1960s kind of uh, doo-wop set. We have our glasses and uh, stick back our hair and do all this stuff. So give us a minute and we'll, less than a minute, and we'll get ready for a doo-wop song.
back for another set uh, in just a few minutes, but we're going to take a, a very brief 10, not a 12, but a 10-minute intermission if you need to go out. The, uh, the restrooms are out and outside. Uh, there's a, a, a water issue at the moment in the nearby restrooms, so feel free to do that. Get a quick leg stretch, and we'll come back and we've got the second act for you. Thanks so much for being here tonight.
Hi folks, if you'll take your seat, we're ready to sing you some more. Right now, what we want to tell you about is a special program that the Miamians participate in. We actually started this program 10 years ago this month. So back in 2013, September of 2013, we started a program where we were going to the children's hospitals in South Florida, in, in, uh, in our area of South Florida. And, uh, and singing to ailing children at bedside. It became the Miamians Music Medics program. And that program has now spread to 24 chapters across the country. Uh, so we... We'd like, to, uh, we'd like to show you what it is that we're about. We, we dress in scrubs. Um, we had to have a substitute tonight because our, uh, our, our baritone got called in for emergency singing at uh, one of the children's hospitals. <laughs> but this is what we do. We come in dressed in scrubs. They don't know who we are. They, they see probably four nurses or doctors or whatever coming in and they go, oh my God, what the heck are these guys going to do to me? But then, you know, we tell them, oh, we're going to sing you a song. Then, then their look goes from, from this to <laughs> that. <laughs> so, uh, but you should see the smile that overtakes it once they start hearing the singing. And uh, we're going to sing our, our, our really, uh, our, our, thank you, our signature song is this. kids uh, feel really nice at that point. We get big old smiles. Uh, but, you know, I also told you that it started with the Miamians, and about five years ago, it spread to a lot of other chapters. Like I said, 24 of them are participating in this program now. And now what we're doing is we're sharing songs uh, with each other and all that stuff. And here's one that we got, that we got from another one of the chapters. Uh, that uh, that is participating in this. Uh, so let me see. That's a flat. Just a spoonful of sugar. Have some medicine. Go down. The medicine. Go down. The medicine. Go down. Just a spoonful of sugar. Have some medicine. Go down. In a most delightful. Medicine to go down, down, down. The bitter medicine. 
Thank you all so much. Thank you. And now you know what the Music Medics program is all about. Thank you. I just want to mention that if you have an interest, if you're, how many locals are here? Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. If you have an interest, uh, uh, in any way of singing in this, uh, this style. There's a sign-up sheet in the back. There's, uh, over the years, there has been a Key West chorus. Um, COVID, uh, unfortunately, knocked it out, and then uh, it's dealt with snowbirds. But they're looking to reform here at the, the end of the year, beginning of next year. And there's a sign-up sheet in the back. I'll remind you again, just drop your name and, and phone number. Um, this is a lot of fun. You can obviously do a lot of things, and there's a huge society uh, and barbershop uh, world all across the globe where you can go now and sing this style. So without further ado, we're going to bring Good Blend back on. So how about a hand for Good Blend?
do a, we're going to really shift gears and do a tune that was made famous by, uh, written by Charlie Chaplin and made famous um, in a movie called Modern Times from the, from the 1920s. Try singing melody. I mean, he's a tenor. He sings, you know, those kind of notes, and and he <laughs> says he's going to sing the melody on on some song. That, he, uh, his soul. he says everybody everybody's going to know the song, and he's like, Maybe. Maybe. we'll we'll see what we can do with it. So, uh, our tenor, Rich. Okay. Rich. Oh, 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 oh,
going from one extreme to the other. So uh, obviously in, in barbershop music, most of it was popular at the turn of the last century um, and then moved all the way through. And so we try to stretch and find anything we can. And this next song, uh, how many people recognize the name Jason Mraz? Good, yes, thank you, sir. Uh, you get the gold star for participation the whole night. Um, I appreciate that. Um, you should sing in a barbershop chorus. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you're a bass already. Um, see, uh, it doesn't take long. So this next song is, uh, is part of our more contemporary uh, music that's just four-part a cappella. Um, it still keeps the voicing the same, so it's still under the barbershop umbrella, but it's certainly not square barbershop. No more. 
this next song, so I, I said Barbershop has, has been in Key West. And in fact, uh, a number of, uh, of members of the Miamis over the years have been, were stationed at the Navy base. Um, and so that was one of the connections to Barbershop for the longest time. There's actually there are about 18 people on the Navy base with a big poster saying Barbershop Harmony. Um, and so uh, we love to sing this next song. This is a, a medley of all of the armed forces uh, hymns and songs. And so if you um, are active or retired, if you would stand to be recognized um, when your song comes. Now, I hope we don't have any Space Force folk in uh, the room because... <laughs> It's barbershop, so it takes about 40 years to catch up, right? So we'll, we'll get, I promise we'll get the Space Force at it. But for now, we've got the others. But if you would be, uh, be so kind to stand up and be recognized, because we know we wouldn't be able to do this, uh, this amazing hobby and be able to sing and just uh, enjoy our lives were it not for the amazing servicemen and women of this country who fight every day uh, to ensure our freedoms that we get to, uh, to embrace. So we, uh, we hope you enjoy this, and to those of you who have served or are serving, we thank you for your service. From the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli, we fight our country's battles in the air, on land and sea. But to fight for right and freedom and to keep our honor clean, we are proud to claim the You're fired. You're fired. 
Um, we'd like to thank all of you uh, for coming this evening uh, and supporting the SOS Foundation. Uh, a great, huge thank you uh, to St. Paul's Episcopal Church and the music director, Tim Peterson, for your help and coordination. We really appreciate you. It, it certainly takes a village, it takes uh, a community, uh, and St. Paul's is definitely here for the community of Key West. And, uh, and it's, so, uh, it's so completely known to us to be able to walk in the door. And uh, uh, Ernie, when did we, re we were back uh, here, five, was it five? Six years. Six years ago we did our first festival. And then uh, um, COVID, and then hurricanes, and then, you know, all of the amazing things of life. And we walk right in the door, on uh, l last night, and there's Tim, still just like we saw him last week. And so that's, that's the type of community that, uh, that St. Paul's is part of, and that's uh, the type of community that's so wonderful for us as the Miamians to be able to walk into and share our music here. So, um, so thank you directly and to the church. Um, absolutely. Again, if you, if you have an interest, if you're a local or you know someone who might have an interest, uh, male or female, the course in Key West is a, um, uh, is a combined course, a mixed voice course. So fill out the, the sheet, um, put your name and phone number. It's worth a try even if you say, well, I'm not sure. I said that 34 years ago um, and I haven't been able to leave since. Um, I'm not sure how to receive that. No, it's a good thing. Um, it's truly amazing. Yeah, well, there's one who enjoys it. Um, my <laughs> Thank you, Tammy. You can come everywhere. Um, but, uh, and you do, that's good. So we have one more song for you. This is a, a Lee Greenwood song that, um, and it really uh, it embodies what we believe and what we think of this wonderful country we live in. So thank you for coming, uh, and we hope to see you again at future concerts. Let me. 